Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with a genuine rarity, one of those discographic nooks and cranny type things. It's Schumann Piano Music for Four Hands. There it is. Piano Four Hands, along with, along with, well, let's put it this way. It's in a Vox box. Um, it's still around, so seemingly, if you can find it. Um, three discs, but here's the cool thing. Look at who the pianists are. There you go. Yes, it's Andras Schiff and Peter Frankel in their early days. I mean, when was this recorded? I have to take a look and see if I can find a date. 1977, for the most part, and 1981, somewhere around there. It was back at the dawn of time for some of these kids. And, well, you know, I, I don't know what their exact ages are, but it, it, it's early stuff. And it's kind of remarkable that here they are on Vox doing this very, very interesting repertoire. Now, I love music for piano four hands. I really do. And Schumann wrote a goodly bit of it, which is as good as unknown for the most part. And here it is. So let me just tell you what it is, and then I'm going to turn you loose to go forth and listen. CD1. CD1 contains the rather large Andante and Variations. This is for two pianos, two cellos, and horn in B-flat major, opus 46. Now, Schumann later arranged this for just for two pianos without the cellos and the horns, but this is the original version. It wasn't discovered until the end of the, the, the 19th century, and it's really a lovely work. It's 22 minutes long. It's a big, long, chunky theme and variations. Gentle, very lyrical, very, very pretty. And here it is. So there you go. We're already in terra incognita for most people, even Schumaniacs. So that's really kind of cool. And then we have the Kinderball, Opus 130, Six Light Tonstücke, you know, little, little musical pieces. Which are, which are really cute, you know, the children's, children's ball. And finally, Bilder aus den Osten, pictures, or Austin, pictures of the East, based on, after poetry by Friedrich Rückert, um, somewhat better known sort of thing, lovely, sometimes quasi-exotic, just a beautiful, beautiful work. It's a subtitled Six Impromptus. And these are, like I said, rather substantial pieces. And, and they're, they deserve to be better known. I mean, they really do. Disc number two, we have more balls. I mean, you know, as it parties. Ball, Zanin. That's ball scenes. Nine characteristic tone stucke. And they're very characteristic and they're very stucklich. Let me see if there's like a description of what the, the Stuckliff things are here. Here they are. Well, let's see. There's a preamble and a polonaise and a waltz and something Ungarish, a Hungarian thing, and something French and a mazurka and an Ecossaise, which is Scottish. And let's see, some more waltzes and a promenade at the end. And this is just, you know, it's music to be played at home, music to enjoy. It's somewhat relaxing. It's not Schumann's deepest inspiration, perhaps, but it's really, really attractive, good, solid, fun music. Then after the Polydeses, we're on to CD3, where we have, let's see, what's this? Oh, 12 forehand piano pieces for small and large children what we would say for children of all ages. In other words, little kids can play them and adults can play them and get just as much joy out of them. And these are, this is the kind of thing Schumann was great at, you know, a little suite of, of characteristic pieces. And they're, they're like, what do we have here? A birthday march and, uh, and uh, oh, let's see. Oh, sadness, trower, mourning. And then a few, oh, it's got, is that a funeral march in there? No, it's something else. I can't even read it, but there it is and a little round dance, and, 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 you know, charming little sniglets for kids and their elders. Um, um, it's a, I, mean, I mean, it's not carnival. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. Okay, it's not Chrysleriana, but it's, it's nice. It's just attractive house music, the kind of stuff that 
If you were living back then and you wanted to hear music, this is what you had to do. You had to play it. Finally, at last, but certainly not least, we have two sets. The studies for player piano, for pedal piano, not player piano, for pedal piano, and the sketches for pedal piano. Now, the pedal piano was this monstrosity. The, the composer who probably wrote the most for it that we care about is Alcon in France. Um, you know, it was the way to get more, more, more bang for your buck. It had a pedal board that you could, like an organ, so you could play bass lines with your feet and two thingies, a regular keyboard for your hands. And Schumann wrote, these, these studies are canonic studies. They're contrapuntal studies. And Schumann, un, unlike what you know, most people generally think, was a very, very fine contrapuntist. He really was. I mean, you know, the four fugues are absolutely beautiful. Um, you know, another one of his little piano suite things. Think about the, the fourth movement, the, pre, the prelude to the finale, essentially, of the Rhenish Symphony, which is a gorgeous example of liturgical counterpoint. He was really, really good at that stuff. And these canonic studies are lovely. And then we have, we have the sketches, which are not canonic studies. They're just, they're just sort of little snippets where he's playing around with what you can do with this pedal piano. And of course, here it's, it's arranged for piano for hands because you don't have pedal pianos anymore. I mean, they do exist. Models of them exist. And if, you know, the period instrument folk may be going back and, and, and diddling their feet on the pedals here and there. But basically, we don't use them. So they were arranged, and here you go. Schumann's works for Piano Four Hands on three discs with Andra Schiff and Peter Frankel, the superb soloists, well recorded on Vox, not expensive. This is just one of those finds so that serious collectors, especially if you're a keyboard person, um, you're going to want this. You're really going to want this if you can still find it, if you can get it while you can. I mean, this is now owned by Naxos. I don't know what's going to happen with it. They're working on figuring out what to do with the Vox catalog. That I know. And uh, I mean, it's, it's a great set with major, 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 major artists. It happens once in a while. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care.